So here I am at the Camelot Vineyards, going in to taste some wine. So this is the entrance and oh, what is this? Is that the Excalibur? Just kidding. I bet you everybody has tried it and not done it. I'm not going to even try, but I am going to try some of the Camelot wines. Okay, so I'm coming into the Camelot wine tasting room and this fine gentleman here um, by the name of... My name's Julian. Hi Julian, uh, and you are the uh, manager here? Yeah, manager, um, weed puller, sort of jack of all trades, assistant winemaker. <laughs> you know, we, we have to wear many hats in a place like this. So. Of course, that's the beauty of a small winery. You put it perfectly. <laughs> yes. Camelot is a young winery. The first grapes were planted here 10 years ago on what it used to be an orchard. The medieval themed gift store comes complete with a round table, swords, shields, and knights. Or the name of Dennis the Conqueror. Dennis the Conqueror. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Picture up. All the way from Germany, that guy. He's from Germany. Yeah, they wow. brought him back in It's a German pieces. guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love the chair. Oh, yeah, that's wait. A great piece. Wait. <laughs> now, I think I look pretty regal. Right? I would say so. <laughs> He's laughing at me. Moment, um, all four made from uh, estate grown grapes. Our mm -hmm. 50 year old, well, the property's been in the family about 50 years. Um, so we've got roots literally and metaphorically here, you know. So, uh, start off with um, Southeast Kelowna mm -hmm. go to grape. That's our Riesling. Beautiful, crisp, high acidity with a little bit of fruit to back it up on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, the one that surprised everybody last year, BC Signature. Uh, this is a Pinot Gris. Mm -hmm. Beautiful stuff. Our our signature, uh, the White Knight. Wonderful Gewurztraminer Riesling blend. Um, everybody's favorite, by far the best seller. And this guy here is our only estate grown black grape. So this is our Pinot Noir. And this one, I'll tell you real quick, this was my baby from the day we picked the grapes to the day uh, we bottled it last fall. All the legwork that year, uh, it was in barrel, that was, it was my baby. So I taste that one a little bit different, uh, I think, than any of the others. So, so yeah, it's a thing of beauty, we love it. So this is the tanks? Yeah, this is, I mean, yeah, a small amount of tankage anyways. This is, this is where the magic happens in here. So you've got our, all of our big stainless steel tanks over mm -hmm. there, uh, all the bells and whistles. Um, Mostly white wine made in there and initial ferment on the red wine. Uh, plastic tanks back there. A uh, couple tanks of our soon to be bottled Meritage blend uh, coming here in a couple months. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All of the equipment still in for the season, of course, but uh, a few months from now when we got ripe fruit to pick, Crusher D stemmer here on the left. So uh, this is the Crusher here? Yeah, so the grapes go in there whole bunches right, right off the vine. Okay, so they go at the top? They go in the top, yeah, we mm -hmm. dump it in there. Uh, we put a bin underneath. Out the left here comes uh, all the stems or the rachis. Mm -hmm. And underneath you get a crushed bin, so juice, skins, everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, next stop is where the ac into the press where the actual pressing occurs. So a pneumatic press, there's a big, essentially a big airbag in there. Uh, and we make it either a gentle press or a firmer press, depending on. Um, everything goes in there, juice and skins. The press operates, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, juice pressed off into the pan underneath, leaving all the skins behind. Um, and then into one of these tanks where mm -hmm. the, the initial ferment begins, on a, on a white wine, of course. On a white so. wine, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then it goes on those barrels. Yes, when, whenever we do um, most Chardonnays of the past, but mm -hmm. particularly our Pinot Noir and our Meritage, uh, those barrels, where that's usually home for um, usually minimum a year, sometimes up to two, depending on the wine that we've done. Mm -hmm. So some out of commission barrels, uh, these guys, these beauties up here are all brand new French and American oak. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're uh, Barrique de Bordelais, or so they're called, 225 liters. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So these are the crush pads over here? Yeah. And this Jillian was trying to explain to me about the crush pads and everything. We were interrupted, but something cute. And is that the uh, Camelot? Uh, <laughs> that is Poppy. That Arthur? No, no. Poppy the vineyard dog. Poppy the vineyard yeah. dog. <laughs> Greets our guests, shows them where to and go. And of course brings the ball oh. around. <laughs> then we looked at the vineyards. There's Pinot Gris at the far end, Gewurztraminer in the middle, P. 
Pinot Noir in the back and in the front where as you come in is the Riesling. <laughs> I like the custom crush service. <laughs> I hope they're talking about the wine, of course. Oh, and there's somebody working on the vines. That somebody was Robert Young, the CEO, president, who along with his wife Denise took over the farm from his father and mother. Then we went back inside to taste the wines. And this is the... This is our Riesling. The something Riesling. we take particular pride mm -hmm. in. And this is all grown here. Right on all the estate. Grown, on, the on estate. our five acres. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> Medium bodied, nice, yeah. And a lot of dry... Oh, lime. The I lime. hit the right. lime. That's awesome. High I love acidity. lime. That's right. Very nice. High acidity, yeah. Like lime. This is the one for you. Mm. Pinot Gris. Pinot Gris? Yeah. Okay. Unavoidable in the Okanagan. If you're, if you're <laughs> so, doing this routinely, you're going to yeah. taste a lot of Pinot it's Gris. It's a lot of Pinot Gris. <laughs> okay, so Pinot Gris. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> so, opened up our eyes last year. So, but, a very uh, nice, crackers, dry, uh, oh, no. uh, oh, nutty. Oh, that's there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just to it. Yeah. Sort of. I'm looking forward to this white night, uh, oh, yes. okay? <laughs> Our signature, obviously. That That's your name. signature? Yeah. yeah. Okay, white night. Yeah. A little bit of Gewurz. Well, mostly Gewurz yeah. demeanor, yeah. a bit of Riesling, too. But you have to put on So it's a blend of Gewurz demeanor right. and Riesling. Yeah. Nice estate brown. The white. Was there some food? Very, very nice. This one is called the Immortal. Immortal Reserve, yes. My metaphorical blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Excellent. Very like medium body, yeah. smooth, yeah. it's dry. It's a little more that sort of green character, but the balance on this one, the balance is really what we're shooting for with Riesling. He's the guard dog, eh? Oh, yeah. Guarding those vines. <laughs> <laughs>